Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's topic, we will be discussing about AWS Cloud Shell. It was introduced in reInvent, AWS reInvent 2020, December. So we will see how does it works and what's the benefit. So AWS Cloud Shell, it's basically an alternative for the CLI command line interface. So we can use the AWS Cloud Shell. It's a browser based shell that gives you the similar features to that of the CLI. So it helps you to access your resources in the selected AWS region. So by default, there will be some region being selected in which we will be using our Cloud Shell. So it comes pre-installed with popular tools for resource management and creation. And whatever credentials that we are using it in order to log into our web console for the AWS, same credentials we can use it to log into this Cloud Shell. So there is no separate uh, inter separate uh, credentials to be generated, like in case of uh, keys we were generating in case of the CLI, then we are using those keys in order to log into the CLI, but here nothing is like that. It's pretty simple and easy to use this Cloud Shell. So what are the basic features that we have in this AWS, this Cloud Shell? So it is having already pre-installed tools AWS CLI, that is the most important one. And then we have the Python, Node.js, and many more things are being already there, pre-installed tools are there. And it also includes a storage of one GB that is free per AWS region, or in whatever region we are running our Cloud Shell. Moreover, it also saves files and settings in the home directory by default in order to use it in the future sessions for that particular region if you want to use it. So overall, it's it's like quite handy. You can use it in the web browser. No need of installing the CLI uh, for using the CLI. Uh, no need of installing any package for the CLI. We can directly use the web-based this Cloud Shell in order to access our resources. So let's move on to the hand-on. So in the hands-on, I'm already logged into my AWS Management Console. So I will just look for the cloud shell. So you can see over here by default, my region is Mumbai, Asia Pacific South one. And you can see this is a terminal in which we'll be working with. So let's start with some basic command AWS. We can go for the buckets S3 LS. So you can see it's showing me all the buckets that I'm having. It's listing all the buckets. Now, suppose if you want to select certain buckets, like uh, you want to see what is the content AWS S3 ls then i can use s3 my bucket name let's say guru aws121122 so the specified bucket does not exist uh, i make a spelling mistake over here guru aws So there is, it is in some different location that is Middle East South. So currently I'm running this particular shell in Mumbai. So I need to change the shell. Then only I can see the content over here. Moreover, you can see these are the regions in which this cloud shell is being supported currently. You can see I'm not getting my Middle East region. So I will just check my another buckets. So let's say So you can see that's the content that I'm having. Uh, there is a CV over here. There is a directory over there. There is an index page. So that's how we can see. So it depends in the region in which you are running this cloud shell. It will be applicable to that. Only those buckets only you can retrieve the content, whatever it is having. Similarly, if you want to create a bucket over here, let's say AWS S3 MB 
that is the make bucket command, then s3 colon two forward slash, then let's say my cloud shell one to one. So you can see our bucket has been created successfully. So I can use the ls command aws s3 ls to see my buckets. So you can see over here, my cloud shell one to one has been created. So most of the commands uh, for creation and any uh, retrieval, we can use this cloud shell. Even in the end, we can, uh, I will just remove this bucket by using AWS S3 remove bucket S3 that I've recently created. So my bucket name is my cloud shell one to one and I will forcefully remove it. So you can see the bucket has been removed. I can cross check by using S3 LS command. So you can see there is, it's no more there. So this is how we can use it cloud shell easily. And you can see over here, we can open a new tab, multiple task if you want to perform it in like at the same time you want to perform different, different tasks. You can have different tabs over here. And you can also split into rows and columns Another download and upload the file that is related to the uh, terminal in which we are working currently the AWS is giving to us. So it's related to that one. Then restart the cloud shell, delete AWS cloud shell home directory in which we will be saving the files and all. So this is uh, all together. You can see the settings over here, the font size, you can make it a larger little bit. You can confirm. So you can see over here. So these are the basic settings. You can enable safe pace if you have some multi-line. Uh, already the commands you have, you can copy paste over here. You can change the font size. You can just change the theme. You can make it light theme. Whichever we want, we can do it from here. So it's quite easy to use this cloud shell rather than having a CLI in which we have to enter the credentials and all. Here the user can directly use it the credentials for this web console that the user is using and directly you can go to the service of cloud shell and you can use it. Now, if you see over here, these are the regions that are being supported basically currently. So if I choose over here, US East Ohio, so it will open my cloud shell in that particular region. You can see US East too. So it takes some time to create the environment We can refresh. It's still creating the environment. We have to wait for it. Let me try with some other region too. It's already preparing a terminal, so that's it. So you can see AWS has three LS as the buckets are global, so we can access them. But if you want to perform certain actions, you need to go to that particular region. Like suppose you want to copy some files or you want to uh, drive the content of that particular bucket, what are the content it is having. So we have to make it sure we are in that particular region. So currently this feature is only available in selected regions. I hope in the upcoming days it will be available in all the regions. I hope you like my video. Please do like, share and subscribe. In the upcoming videos we will talk about the IAM and all. So please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.